Hello world, Will here. Today I'm in the greenhouse at a local elementary school. Guess not where I would usually hang out. I prefer the playground, typically hot. And I'm showing you a aquaponic system that I designed and am finishing building. And it's an educational system, so it's kind of unique as far as I know. I've never built one before in the world of aquaponics because it's got three different grow methods in one continuous system. Let me show you what's going on here. This will be my fish reservoir. It's 200 gallons built out of pressure treated 2 by 8s and some bracing. It's got pond liner to keep the water in. A 400 gallon per hour water pump is sitting down there which will be run off of a timer. It'll probably run 15 minutes per hour every hour for 24 hours. So it's basically an ebb and flow system with other stuff going on. You see I've got a, a multi multiple manifold air pump there going to these four air stones which I think is enough to keep the fish happy. The water pump will pump water up through there through this inlet fitting into my expanded clay pellet grow bed. If you're building one of these ensure that it's at least 12 inches in height that gives you the appropriate zones for your plant roots that's an industry standard this fish tank's 200 gallons clay pellet grow bed is 60 and my floating raft bed is also 60. Pump, we'll pump water in here for 15 or so minutes i'm not sure on the interval yet i've got to tweak it depends on flow rate etc this is going to be about six inches high. I'm going to add two more of the solid fittings when I get a hold of them to increase the water level. Um, but please note that water will drain back out through the inlet fitting through the pump, not just out of here. But when the pump's pumping and this is filling up with water, water will flow through that slotted top fitting out through the bottom here right into my floating raft bed. This is a uh, built of two by eight inch boards. And that styrofoam raft over there is going to float in this bed. That's a two inch thick raft, what do you call it? Yeah, it's a two inch thick raft, well, good one. It's two inch thick solid insulation board. The holes are all wonky because I had some volunteer help and that's what America's educational system gets you these days. That's high schoolers right there, folks, drilling those holes. <laughs> Isn't that great? Future of America right there. Anyway, that's going to float in this raft bed. So water's flowing in through this inlet and this will always have water in it. And it's flowing out through this outlet fitting here into this four inch PVC pipe which this will have little plastic net baskets or solo cups or something with strawberries growing out of there. Water is going to be flowing through this pipe. I didn't glue this PVC, glue this last elbow on here so I can adjust the water flow through the pipe by increasing the angle or decreasing the angle. And it drains right back into here. I know there's a couple things you purists don't like, uh, such as the water pump being in the fish reservoir. You know, it stresses the fish, makes them freak out, but hey, fish are like vegetables, they don't have any feelings. What do I care? So anyway, hopefully this will all work together in harmony. Again, I'm not an expert, I just uh, researched aquaponics for about an hour and then used my brain and built all this stuff. And I'll check back in with you when I've got fish in there and plants, etc. Thank you. And now, nature.